Hello, Gators. Hey, we are rolling into uh, week seven of distance learning. Uh, that is Monday, May 11th, and May brings a review of all of our character traits that we've worked on uh, to be great Gators throughout the year. Uh, so no matter where you are at, remember to be respectful and responsible to always be a good listener as you're engaging there out on teams. Uh, make sure you always bring your compassion uh, with you as you are in the digital land. Uh, you are always being a great social and emotional manager. Uh, you're always practicing those problem solver skills that we taught you in January. Uh, and of course, always being a great fan, looking out for those that need uh, a little extra help. Um, you're working on your honesty and your integrity. And last but not least, you are being a great uh, cooperator, which we worked on last month. I also wanted to give a shout out to each and everybody who was able to put forth some appreciation last week. It's those little acts of kindness, whether it's the video or the picture that you gave to the staff here at Sherman, uh, that make this such a great place to be. And we have something fun going on. Uh, the Public Works Week has a drawing contest out there for any and all of you that want to participate. Uh, if you would like some more information on that, feel free to go to the Nampa School District's uh, Facebook page. You can find some more information out there. Uh, and then from the Sherman Gator Facebook page, you can always find our high-tech high fives. So remember to go on to the Sherman Gator Facebook page uh, and see uh, what you can participate with those high-tech high fives. Alrighty, last but not least with this uh, week seven, uh, we are in the home stretch here. So remember, stay strong, uh, practice all those things it is to be a great Gator, uh, and we will see you. Hello, Gators. We're so excited to be here with week seven, and I've got some shout outs for you. First off, from Mr. Caranante's class, we have Aiden Burgos. Aiden is ready to learn every day on his schedule time and staying focused and on task the whole time. Great job. Now in Mrs. Parra's class, we have Daniel Ballesteros. Daniel completes all of his online assignments and participates in his live sessions. His reading skills are out of this world. Fantastic job. Now we have Gracelyn Bailey. Gracelyn completes all of her online lessons with excellence. She participates in live lessons and her reading skills rock. Good job, Gracelyn. Now for Mrs. Johnson's class, we have Sydney Atkins. Now she has been very active in her schoolwork and always tries her best. And Miss Johnson is so proud of her. We also have Bailey Brown from Miss Johnson's class who has also been active in her work. She is trying her best and she goes above and beyond. Good job, Bailey. Now Dimitri Reyes is up. Now he has shown up to school and done his best every day. He loves to participate in community circle and to be with his classmates. We also have Taylor Zimmerman. Taylor has been working hard to do his best every day and is never afraid to ask for help or a meeting to help him understand his work better. Again, Ms. Johnson super proud of him. Luna Nino Camarón. She has been working hard to complete her work, which is especially tricky when she is learning a new language. Way to go, Luna. Felicitaciones. Francisco Sanchez Morales. He's up next. Now, even though he can only work at night, He's still working so hard to get all of his work done. And he always has a positive attitude and as always does his best. Now last from Mrs. Johnson class is Eli Miller. Now Eli has been trying his very best the entire time we've been doing online school. He does his best, he's willing to try new things and he perseveres through frustrations. Again, so proud of him, way to be a Gator. Now for Miss Vigil's class, we have Adam Correa. Adam works hard to get all of his work done each day. He has had wonderful flip grade responses. His opinion writing about bedtimes was amazing. We also have Ian Carreno. Ian has been working hard each day also to complete his assignments and his attention to detail is amazing. Also for Mrs. Vigil's class, we have Jaden McDonough. Jaina has been doing a great job. She has persevered and overcome a few obstacles and now is getting all of her work done each day. Fantastic job, Jaden. And now for Mr. Keith's class, we have Cadence Eisenberg. Now Cadence is doing her best to get everything completed during distance learning. She is always the first to join our class meetings and the last to leave. Even when she wasn't at home, she made sure to take her iPad with her and participate from her aunt's house in Idaho City. 
Fantastic job, Cadence. Way to continue to work hard. For Mrs. Requa's class, we have Peter Parker. Now, Peter is always at class meetings, taking responsibility and completing his work every day. Great job. Now, for Miss Jackson's class, we have Matea Brudeau. Now, he was on task and helping other students during some work times. Great job. Jameson Farmer, thank you so much, Jameson, for collaborating with me on our science. It's always nice to know that students want to learn more. Now, for Mrs. Earl's class, we have Emmett Hinckley. Now, Emmett works so hard on his work. He practically overachieves on every assignment. I am so proud of him, is what Miss Earl says. Also, for Miss Earl's class, we have Max Lobb. He is working so hard, and he is getting everything done. Max is a rock star. Berkeley Mika. Now, she, when she has trouble, she works through it, and she asks for help and gets her work done. Ms. Earl says, I am so grateful for her ability to just ask for help and be willing to be so flexible during all of her hiccups. Great job. Trevor Holloway. Now, he's working hard on his assignments with Ms. Earl and with Ms. Corey. He comes to his meetings and is doing a great job with keeping up on his work. Good job, Trevor. We also have Cristiano Schneider. Cristiano is working super hard on completing his work and doing a good job with them. When Miss Earl sends something back for him to fix, he does it, and she really appreciates him taking that responsibility and working so hard on his assignments. And also for Mrs. Earl's class, we have Chelsea Ackley. Now she is working so hard every day on her work, and she has done it every single day during this digital learning time. Miss Earl is very proud of her. Now for Mrs. Jensen's class, we have Patty Baker. And Ms. Jensen says, thanks for joining us during Community Circle when you can and for reaching out to me if you have a question about assignments and also asking me how you can catch up on this work. Keep it up, Patty. You're doing great. And our last one for the day comes from Ms. Hansen. And this is for Daniel Sasuga. Now, Daniel has been working super hard on his math work. He's also been really good about being on time for his video tutoring. He is also extremely polite and just delightful to meet with. Great, do great job, Daniel, we're proud of you. Now for all of these great Gators, thank you for working hard. We know there's many others that are still doing the same. Keep doing your best, and remember, it's great to be a Gator.